The fact that today's apartment exists is proof that New York City has changed. What used to get you a studio now gets you a gorgeous two-floor apartment right by Central Park. And it's surprisingly nice. Laundry and building, dishwasher, the whole nine. This apartment has it, which must mean there's something else wrong with it keeping the price low. I wonder what that is. Let's go find out. Here we are at 110th Street. Weekend service was a little spotty, but we were able to take the C. And during the week, you can also get the B train. So that's not bad. You can get downtown to Midtown in about 30 minutes from up here. And we are right on the edge of the park. Central Park definitely looks really neat this time of year, that is for sure. And the great thing about being so close to the park is that if you ever want to get outside and stretch your legs in the largest and best park in the city, it's right there, just within 10 minutes from your front door. This is convenient. Right here next to the park, there's a grocery store. It looks like across the street, there's an outdoor market. All right, so I've asked, and this is here every weekend. And that's good, because some of this bread right here looks amazing. There's also meat. And across from the meat, there is a vegan bites spot. We have oat bites, all natural, no added sugar, made with either five or six ingredients, depending on the flavor, and they all look like this. What flavor is this? Coca. Coco. Maybe I'm not going to be a meat eater anymore after I eat this. We'll see. Oh my God. It's good. It's really good. Coming over here was a good decision. Right now, we're just one block south of where that market was. And this definitely turns into a quiet little neighborhood. Got your local deli over here on the corner. This car has the same exact wrap on it as my shoes. Look at that. It's very similar. Maybe that's how I got here. You'll never know. Now, even though the neighborhood is residential, right over here on Columbus, there's tons of shops and restaurants. Right here, there's a local coffee shop. They don't want us to miss out on their burger but I've already eaten. I can't eat a burger after eating vegan treats. Right here, we've got local pizza. These are some serious deals right here. And I'm sure that place is way better than Domino's, which isn't pizza. It's almost pizza. Got a little community garden going on over here. I'm not really sure what's going on inside of it. Things are looking a little chaotic. Military workout. No thanks. Right over here, we've got a little cafe. I was wondering what it was, but it looks like it's Mexican. To be honest with you, everything on this menu looks really good. But if you don't want Mexican across the street, you can get seafood. And on a cold day like today, Cajun seafood sounds like the right idea. But I don't know. When it's cold, I prefer to go with curry the curry king that's quite a claim to make but since the sign's old it looks like it's been here for a while and that's how you know it's probably pretty good so many shops and businesses this is convenient everything you're gonna need on a weekly basis is right here the chirping chicken great name but if the chicken's still chirping i don't know if you should eat it but check that out that looks amazing is this a 99 cent store oh this is great this could save you so much money on all the basic boring stuff you need to keep your apartment functioning like mops and paper towels. Wait a second, 99 cents and up? It's possible that this is just a marketing tactic. Next to that, we've got a liquor store and there's a little barber shop right here, which I won't visit because I don't get haircuts. Look at all the fresh flowers. Valentine's Day is coming up, don't forget. Over here, there's a juice bar, handcrafted colon cleanser. That ought to make for an exciting Friday evening. Neighborhood seems awesome, dare I say underrated. Let's head right down the street here and see the apartment. Here we are, and this place is really cool. There's two floors, there's two entryways. The second one's up here at the top of the stairs. Check this out, down here in the basement, you've got laundry, got a couple washers, got a couple dryers, and a fire extinguisher to prevent dryer fires. But seriously, this is great. You don't have to leave to get your clothes cleaned. This definitely is not your typical one bedroom apartment. In fact, this is as big as a lot of two bedroom apartments in the same exact neighborhood, and that just blows my mind. Okay. Uh 
uh, I just realized there was something on my glasses the entire time that I was in here filming. Anyways, check out the apartment. Let me know if you like it. And if you like apartment tours, make sure you subscribe because I make between three and six of these a week. And if you're not subscribed, you might miss one. Right there's the front door. And after you walk in, you've got the kitchen over there in the corner. And then all the rest of this is living space. This area over here is 10 feet, two inches by 14 feet. It probably makes the most sense to have your couch over here. And if that's where the couch is, you put the entertainment center right there next to the staircase. If you have the entertainment center here, it'll be visible from the kitchen area, which is already set up for a dining table. You've got a spot to sit and eat right next to where the kitchen is. And the rest of this is enough space to hang out with friends, watch movies, have people over or just relax. And we haven't even gotten to the upstairs yet. Also, this right here is for your air conditioner. And by having your AC down here, it doesn't have to block up either of the two windows that we have. Right over here, we've got a closet. How big is this? Oh, wow, this is pretty big. You know that scene in Willy Wonka where the room just shrinks until they get to the little door? That's what this is. But seriously, that would be a great coat closet. And if you wanted to put some hooks or something on the wall by the front door, that might not be a bad idea either. The kitchen is really good. We've got a microwave and a full-size stove. Got a decent fridge and a dishwasher. Counter space here is not bad. You could definitely plug stuff in. And since there's lots of outlets, you've got more choices than just a blender. Maybe a blender and a toaster. Cabinet space here is also really good. No space has been wasted. There's even a little drawer right here, which will fit a spatula. So far, this downstairs area, this is pretty good. Now let's head upstairs and check out floor number two. This feels like the same type of staircase that you'd have in a house. The upstairs layout here is pretty interesting. You've got this door that leads to the hallway. You've got the bathroom, and this is a ton of space to work with. Not counting this, the space we've got over here is 13 feet, three inches by 10 feet, two inches. It's probably gonna make the most sense to put your bed over here. And then you've got the rest of this space to do whatever you want with. I'd probably wanna get some sort of home office set up over here. I think that would be a good use of this. And then there's like this elevated platform here above the staircase. You could make this a shrine to your God. Now, since we're technically one story higher than the living room, the view here is a little bit better. And we've got two closets over here. This one right here has double doors. Perfect for hanging things up like suits and whatnot. And then next to the bathroom, we've got another one. How is this one? Oh, cool. So this one's got shelves and stuff. If you fold it, it goes here. If you're hanging it, it goes here. Definitely, this is a lot of storage. The only complaint that I can see with this layout is that the bathroom is up here on a separate level from where the kitchen and the living room are. I'm not sure that would bother me so much, but if you're having people over, they're gonna have to come up here. And if you don't want people walking through your bedroom, that might give you anxiety. Unless you hang out with clean people who take off their shoes. This bathroom is really bright. Get the lights on in here and it's even brighter. Look at all those lights above this mirror, which is not a medicine cabinet, but it is really big. You can totally see what's going on. The sink's not bad. It's got a little counter space around it and also above the toilet. Perfect for toiletries. And then there's also storage space down here beneath the sink. Let's see what we got down here. Not bad. This is how you find out if an apartment's clean. I don't see any bugs or any traps down here or any leaks. This bathroom's also got a nice little window so you can air it out. And we've got a bathtub so that if you wanna take a bath instead of a shower, you can do that. And if you wanna rent a super unique two floor apartment, this is your spot. Check out the video description for a link to the agent. If you had fun on this apartment tour, hit the like button and check out one of these other apartment tours and I'll see you in the next video.